Hello friends, welcome back to All and in Law. This is a medical video lecture, Microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is very important bacteria, that's H. pylori. The H. helicobacter pylori. So before starting a discussion, guys, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and please thumb up our videos. So let's talk about the H. pylori. So before talking about H. pylori, I would like to brief you with the genus features of Helicobacter. Guys, tell me whether it's a gram positive or a gram negative. It's a gram negative. Okay. Whether it's a bacilli or a rots, it's a bacilli. Okay, there are spiral bacilli you can care with flagella. With flagella. Okay, guys. And the other important points about this helicobacter, they are microaerophilic. If you want to know what's a microaerophilic, just uh, watch our videos aerobic and anaerobic bacteria by all in law okay the micro aerophilic and they grow at the temperature of 37 degree centigrade at campy media or skiro agar and they are oxidase positive okay so they are oxidase positive and for if you want to consider helicobacter pylori, it's a urease positive. Urease positive. Okay, right, guys. So these are the features of uh, helicobacter pylori. Okay, so you know very well this is a really very important urease positive. You should remember. So helicobacter pylori, well known organism for gastritis, ulcers, okay, stomach cancer, right. So the pathogens, the reservoir, you know, humans, okay, transmission is by fecal oral route or oral oral route, okay. The pathogenesis, the pathogenesis, pathogenesis, okay. The pathogenesis, as they are motile, they produce one enzyme known as a mucinase, okay. So this mucinase, if this is a stomach, Okay, if this is a mucinase and this is in the stomach, mucosa of stomach, it goes and penetrates this. It goes and penetrates and causes a damage to this, uh, what you call, uh, mucosal layer and uh, neutralizes the, what you call, uh, uh, acidity of, uh, acidic environment of the stomach and helps in the growth of the H. pylori. Okay, so this is one of the mechanism by producing mucinase. And they, as they are urease positive, urease positive, as they are urease positive, the ammonium, what you call cloud, neutralizes the stomach acid over here, okay, allowing the survival in stomach, okay, arrival, uh, allowing survival in the stomach acid during transit to bottle, so, okay. So this is how it acts, okay. So there are there are two types of what are called uh, um, cytotoxins it produces type one and the type two okay you can remember just for a simple type one and type two okay so what are the diseases you know very well it causes a gastro gastric ulcer duodenal ulcers associated with the uh, stomach cancer most important is mild okay that's known as a maltoma. Okay, that's nothing but mucosa associated lymphoid tissue lymphoma. Okay. Now it is classed by WHO as a type 1 carcinogen. Okay. So now how would you diagnose this? How would you diagnose? Diagnosis by either you can take a culture or by breath test. Breath test. Okay, breath test is by C urea solid or ammonium uh, 
C carbon dioxide produced. Okay, so this is what it is done in the breath test. Regarding the in detail of the this breath test, I will discuss in the later video. Okay, so regarding the treatment plan, we know that treatment we uh, combine the drug, we change the drug, and we give it for uh, 10 to 14 days. That's a uh, proton pump inhibitor, that's a omeprazole or pandaprazole plus amoxicillin as an antibiotic and another antibiotic, clarithromycin. Okay. So guys, this is really very important. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure this video is really very helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.